Hanford Nuclear Reservation in Washington State is known as the most contaminated nuclear site in our country. And now there are some new underground leaks of radioactive waste. Cake Online's Carter Evans shows us the problem and what's being done about it. The bomb that brought an end to World War II was built with plutonium that was produced at the Hanford Nuclear Reservation in southeastern Washington State. In the years that followed, Hanford has become the nation's nuclear dumping ground, a final resting place for 56 million gallons of radioactive sludge encased in 177 underground storage tanks. A third of these tanks have failed already. One third. They've leaked a million gallons. There's more to come. Just last week, Washington's governor confirmed six of those tanks are actively leaking again. Washington state has a zero tolerance policy on radioactive leaks. But the federal government has already spent billions of dollars and decades attempting to clean up the site. Our cameras were not allowed on the property, but this is an above ground replica of the tanks that are leaking. They were designed with a single layer of steel for a maximum lifespan of 20 years. But the first tanks were built back in the 1940s. They lost their uh, integrity, essentially, their engineered design life, right around the time that we sent a man to the moon in the 1960s. And while Governor Inslee says the current leaks pose no immediate risk to the public, the cleanup at Hanford goes on. It's estimated it will take at least 40 years at a cost of more than $100 billion. I'm Carter Evans, KCAL 9 News.